Hello, here we are with an unboxing of the Nokia Lumia 620. So this is Nokia's latest handset. It's a lower end Windows phone for the smartphone market. So the 920 is their flagship model and you've got the 820 up there as well, but the 620 comes in and sits below that to provide an even more cost effective Windows experience. You get an idea of some of the features on here. So Windows phone, Snapdragon processor, you've got Dolby digital sound, get an idea of what you get in the box here. So fairly standard Nokia packaging for uh, a Windows phone. You can see here this is the black, you've got the frequencies listed there as well. So they come in a variety of colours but at the time of recording we have only black and white available. But This is the black one so there is the 620 which we'll come back to in just a moment. Take out the packaging we get the battery so this has a capacity of 1300 milliamp hours so it's uh, quite a small battery in comparison to a lot of the batteries we see nowadays but it's not a particularly uh, big phone with a smaller display we've got a sort of manual here to actually get you uh, up and going that's one of the most comprehensive um, documents we've seen in a box so far I usually get a quick start guide, but this is sort of a glorified quick start guide, but not quite a full manual. We open up in here. So we've got a three pin UK mains adapter. Pop that up there. Like so we've got the Nokia branding. We've got a USB port into which we connect the provided USB cable. So we've got full USB connection on one end and a micro USB connection on the other. And uh, you'll uh, simply connect that into the device, that into the computer or into the mains charger for powering up. And then we've got a set of in-ear headphones with a 3.5 millimeter jack. You've got an inline microphone there as well for uh, listening to music or taking calls. Okay, so taking a look at the device, here we have it. On the front here we have the 3.8 inch capacitive touchscreen display with a resolution of 800 by 480. We've got the earpiece, we've got the front facing video camera on this device for uh, making video calls and that's just a uh, VJ camera 640 by 480. We've got the Nokia logo, we've got the Windows button so back, home and search key. On the bottom of the device we've got the micro USB connection and a microphone. Coming round to the side is completely flush and you can sort of get an idea of the curved uh, design on here. On the top we've got what looks to be another microphone, we've got 3.5 mm headphone jack. Then coming round we've got the volume controls, the power button and a dedicated camera bu button. Turn the device over. Here we have the camera. It's a five megapixel camera with LED flash. We've got uh, what looks to be a loudspeaker down here in the bottom corner. And here it is instructing us uh, how to remove the back cover. We simply actually push in at the camera there and the back cover comes away like so. So actually under the skin here, We've got the one gigahertz dual core processor that we've mentioned. We've got eight gigabytes of internal memory, but we have got a micro SD card slot as uh, identified here. So we can actually open uh, this little bit up here and put in a micro SD card. It takes up to 64 gigs. There's plenty of storage options uh, on here. So that's quite good for this sort of device. We've also got a micro SIM card slot just under here that slides in and tucks away like so. We can then pop in the battery so it's the 1300 milliamp hour battery that we pop in there it sits in like that and then we close it up like so and we can then power it on from the side here. So we're just going to let that boot up whilst we do you can sort of see uh, it's actually quite a nice little compact phone. Um, it, it sits quite comfortably in the hand. There's a nice sort of curvature to it. It's quite thick. Um, and 
I wouldn't say it feels cheap, but it's quite smooth to the touch and potentially feels a little bit plasticky uh, for some. But considering the sort of price point, it's what you'd kind of expect. And yeah, initial impressions are quite positive on this device. So we'll get this switched on and uh, take a run through the software. Okay, so the Nokia takes a few minutes to boot up and once we do we get to, to the home screen like so. Very familiar Windows uh, experience that you've seen probably on other devices. So I just want to mention this does weigh in at 127 grams. It's got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS. The camera, I mentioned it was a 5 megapixel. Also should have mentioned that it records in 720p uh, video. So not full HD, um, but uh, it's an acceptable resolution for a device of this price bracket. So we haven't done anything in terms of actually configuration on this device. Uh, there's not, not an awful lot to actually configure, but you can see you've got your home screen with some shortcuts already on here. So these are your live tiles and you can uh, control and manage these as you like. We can click into the phone here. Now we haven't actually got a SIM card inserted but you can go onto the dialer. We can come back out. We can go to our home screen. We can go into messaging. So we've got a message here from Windows Phone. We can not actually uh, reply to this one because it's a read-only message, but I can come back out of here. I could compose a message. I've got the on-screen keyboard, who is two. I can use it in portrait and landscape mode. You see how it's predicting what I'm trying to type as well, so I can select these words up here. You, know, you can get the idea and you can type quite comfortably. You get that sound feedback there as well. Now I'm not going to go through everything on the uh, home screen here, but one of the big features on this is the live tiles where you can actually um, remove them, resize the live tile in terms of where you want to put it and where it is. You just tap on the little arrow here and it resizes it for you so you can see you can have it massive. You can pin it, completely remove it. You can move things about like so. And that's our home screen sort of being customized. You flick across and you've got your list of applications. Uh, so we've got Angry Birds, eBay, we've got the camera, games, Groupon, help and tips, Internet Explorer, messaging, we've got Nectar installed, Nokia City Lens, Nokia Drive and Nokia Maps. That's going to be excellent for uh, navigating on this device. That's one of the standout features of Nokia. Windows phones against others, they've got Nokia navigation on them. We've got Office, we've got people, we've got phone, photos, settings store ability to transfer your data and you've got the wallet so I'm not going to go into everything let's just go into settings quickly you've got your ringtones and sounds you can change the uh, theme here so you've got background I can go to a light background I can change my color setup if I want so I can go to a green theme I can add emails and accounts here so be it Microsoft, Nokia, Google, Facebook, I can add it all. Got internet sharing, so this is a 3G enabled phone, uh, but you can share your 3G connection with other devices by simply switching it on here, and they can connect as if they were connecting to a wireless network. Bluetooth, you can see your location, GPS. Phone storage, so there's eight gig on board here but uh, some of that is taken up with the operating system. So you can see that 2.38 gig is used, so it's leaving you 7.23 gig. It's got no SD card in it at the moment. So you've got plenty of stuff there within the settings. Let's go and take a look at a few of the other features of this device. We've got the camera, so 5 megapixel camera. Here it is on the back. So we've got settings 
by tapping the little icon there so we can go into the photo settings we can change the scene modes if we want to help us take a better picture we've got ISO controls exposure, white balance, aspect ratio focus assist, light on or off Oh, I accidentally pressed this button here. This is where you flick between uh, the video recording function or the camera. If we go into settings as well, you've got the video settings. So we can change the video quality mode to 720p WVGA. You then got the options of flash on or off. You've got the option to choose the front facing camera. and you've got different lenses here to uh, give you different options so Bing Vision and Smart Shoot so here you can see with Smart Shoot picture perfect capture brilliant group shots and delightful portraits no more blink and you miss it simply select the best faces on Smart Shoot creates a perfect picture so you can uh, basically uh, control the results of the picture with Smart Shoot to get your ideal picture so we can go into the video there we can use the dedicated camera button to start recording stop recording start recording let's see if we can use the volume keys no you can't use that there's no zoom option go back to the dedicated camera you can take a picture there now we'll put sample shots and videos up on our website for you to see. So let's go and take a look at Internet Explorer. So this is the web browser. So we're connected over Wi-Fi here. Let's just go to the uh, Clove website. So it's going to default to our mobile site, so optimized for mobiles, but let's go to the full desktop. And there you can see it rendering on screen there. We can double tap in, double tap out, we can pinch, we can zoom, like so. We can orientate in portrait and landscape mode for a better viewing experience. Let's also just go to YouTube just show you an example of some video playback and some sound on here let's just take the first video that we sort of see here we're out peeps we're on our way to pick up Allie from the airport she's going to be staying with us for a while and we're going to have some fun so that sounds actually quite loud on the device a bit of reflection on the screen can control that with the uh, volume control buttons there. The speaker is actually located down in the bottom corner here. Uh, you might have noticed that I accidentally covered that up during that video playback. Um, it does muffle the sound a little bit and it does sound quite directional um, but it's quite loud which is quite nice to actually see. So we've got music and videos, Nokia City Lens, so some of these we've covered. We've got Office on here so you can do your office documents or manage them on the go so be it uh, word powerpoint or excel you've got the ability to control it all edit them completely on the go put your photos so this is where the photos that we've taken are stored so we can click into these we can flick through them we've got the video we can play them back here get the idea you've got the store that you can sign into with your Windows Live ID and download more apps you've got tools to help you transfer your data from other devices so this is from Nokia so I think that just about covers the uh, basic things there on the Nokia Lumia 620 so be sure to check out our website and uh, YouTube channel for more content thanks for watching